natural talent. You know, it's interesting because mainstream media likes to use that term with African-American athletes to just say that they're so athletically gifted. But they don't take into consideration the preparation that comes with that. They think LeBron just woke up one day and is this, this specimen and was able to do all these things. No, he works hard, really hard. Kevin Durant grew up right here in PG County. I've seen him work, saw him work when he was young. I played with him one year at Oklahoma City. He works hard. There's a reason why he's, he's doing so well. So I don't really particularly like that term so much because it, it just it shows the ignorance of what goes into the preparation for them to become great. Everything takes work. Everything takes practice. You have to practice on your craft no matter what you're in, whether you're an engineer or a football player or, or a poet or, or, or a teacher. You have to practice. You know, you're not just going to walk into it and just be naturally, um, just automatically good at something. I, don't, I just don't think it works like that. You know, for us as black men, they expect us to be physical specimens. Um, and that's been, you know, of course, rooted in slavery. And there's, there's a reason why they think like that, but they don't, they don't award our intellectual capability um, or, or it's, it's something that's new or they don't expect it. Uh, they don't expect our intellectual, intellectual capability at all. So, you know, I don't think you're going to hear a natural poet. <laughs>